Man, you saw that bite rash on the bass's teeth? My goodness. In today's video, we hit a whole bunch of pre-spawn bass on red lidless crankbaits. Enjoy. Throw this on braid and just rip it like crazy. I'm either gonna lose a hook or lose a split ring on this thing, but I know this I know one thing, this knot isn't coming undone. Oh, there we go. Come on. Round trap. <laughs> oh yeah, you weren't playing. You got him? Doubled up. Hold on. Bigger? You look kind of big over here. Hey. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Doubled up. Wait, do we have the same route trap? Oh no, you have the... That's a smaller That's Guggen clutch, I think. Yeah. Yo, the Guggen clutch you see in this video was straight out of this month's Mystery Taco Box. Mystery Taco Box sends baits in the mail to your mailbox, P.O. Box, front door each month. So they're sponsoring this video today. Use code PewPew to save 10 bucks off your first Mystery Taco Box. New customers only. Enjoy the video. Let's go. I threw it way out there, too. You hit it like closer to the bank, though. Really? Yeah, I'm a bad. Yeah, that's wild. I came through here with the swim jig, came through here with the spinnerbait, nothing. Came through there with the crank, got him. See, it appears that we're in the wilderness, but really, we are in Norman, Oklahoma. I know. Yep. Ah. Unhand me. Ah, my keys. They don't want me to leave. Let's go. Man. I was like, it's killing me there's no fish over here. There's gotta be. Yeah. Same spot. Let's. Perfect. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Bro, sunfish. Out of nowhere. I was clearing a backlash. I reel it up. Freaking wild sunfish. Uh -huh. Little guy. Cool. I wonder if they're just roaming or if that fish. Oh, sh that's a big one, bro. Bro, get him in here. I'm over here thinking it's like a small one. That's a, like... Yeah, I didn't think he was big. He's like three. He got him on both hooks, too. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's looking a little smaller. But that is a solid fish. Oh, he's chunky. That dude heavy. is chunky as hell. Dude, that is a chunky fish. That dude is huge. Like, his tail is thick. Yeah. Okay. You want to weigh him or not? You, you wanna just... Yeah, I'll weigh him. I'm thinking he's going to do... 214. 2.89? So... Mm -hmm. It's about, it's about what I guess. Yeah. Wait, two, cause two sixteen. How many ounces are in a, a pound? I think it's sixteen, right? Let's go. Hell yeah. Bro, you got him. Probably tucked down in that grass. Yes, sir. Cinco. Yeah, that grass stinks too. I wonder why. Fish. Oh, he spit it. It was a nice one too. Yeah. There we go. Never stop trying, people. I bet you that hook isn't even bent out. I'm trying to check to see if I can see. Those hooks are sturdy, boy. First day trying this head cam. We're gonna see 
how I like this angle. We'll see. Maybe we get a better angle of like the cast and all that stuff. So, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's pretty steep. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. We made it. Didn't break anything. There's a fish. Let's go. That didn't take long. Hey, look at him. On the lipless, he got it right how you want him to get it. There we go. Pretty little fish. Let's put him back. Yes, sir. Okay. Man, not even deep. Let's throw there again. See if there's another one. Oh, there is another one. He feels much better. Oh man. I'm still not used to this medium moderate rod. So they feel a little weird, but let's go. There's another one. That is a healthy fish. Real thick, real fat, look at his mouth. Back to back cast. Amazing, okay. <laughs> now if I cast in there again and catch another one, we know something's up. <laughs> Got some grass, oh. There's another one. Bro, what is going on? Dang, he feels good. I'm trying to loosen the drag. Let's go. He almost got off. My goodness, dude. Third fish. Okay, we're just gonna take that hook like that. Do a little shaky shake. Look at that. <laughs> Do y'all see this? What is going on today? Wow, third fish in what, like five minutes? Oh, is he stuck? He's stuck on the log? Hey, get off that log. He's just eating it. There he goes. Oh. Oh, is that a fish or a hang? Dang, I'm hung up. Let's see if I can pop it out. Come on, baby. I need my lure back, mister. Well, let's do the walk of shame. Ah, there it goes. It's gone. Dang. All right. The other one I have is a cotton cordell. And I have caught fish on this one. So, it is also proven. Need that Carl's bait and tackle, uh, <laughs> tackle insurance. Is that out yet? Wonder what my deductible is gonna be. Oh, my line was all messed up. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, he feels good. That was first cast on this lure. What is going on today? Bro, these fish aren't playing around. Oh, he's barely hooked, I think. Come here. Oh my goodness. Bruh! These fish can't stay off the lure. Look at that. <laughs> hey, I ain't complaining. My goodness. Yes, sir. And that's real is doing a good job casting in the wind. The wind's coming right at my face. And um, this reel and rod is doing a great job keeping that uh 
line coming off smooth like coming off smoothly this front guide is a uh, all these all these guides are micro guides and that front one is a big guide I don't know if you can tell but it's a big guide but it has a smaller like diameter on the inside where the line actually comes out so when the lines coming off that spool if it's going too fast it has to slow down to get through that smaller a smaller guide and it's really keeping that line from going crazy let this thing sink down to the bottom before I start retrieving it hopefully it doesn't come to haunt me <laughs> with a hang up or something oh there we go there we go oh he looks good he looks good come here don't jump though he looks good come here Oh, he has that entire trap in his mouth. Y'all see that? My goodness. That's how you want him to eat it. You see that? Just straight ate it. That is a decent size one. I think he's about four pounds. Thank you. So how that fish was hooked, he was hooked where uh, one of the treble hooks was through his gill. Whenever you guys hook a fish like that, you want to take it easy. The gills are how they, you know, get their oxygen and everything. So it's imperative that you try to get them back to the water as fast as possible so they can heal up if the gills start bleeding. And uh, yeah, man, just take care of them. You want to be able to do everything you can and ensure their survival. So hold them real strong so they won't shake around too much and get to getting those hooks out of there. I'm ready to catch a 10, yo. With the way these fish are fired up, you never know what might happen. There's a fish. Oh, he feels good. Oh, man. Don't wrap me. No, he's wrapped up on that freaking stick. Keep tension, I'm gonna go around. Oh no, he got off. Dang it. That fish felt good. That fish felt really good. He got me wrapped up on that log. And I couldn't get him in. Man, that one hurt. I definitely thought I was getting that fish in. He had other plans though. Whew. Let's cast up around here a couple times. There's a beaver dam over here to my right. That wood is a big attraction for some of these bigger fish, so. It's a it's a it's a good place to fish and a bad place to fish at the same time just because there's so much to get hung up on. As you can see, like man, that log wasn't there. That fish was coming in. I wish I had oh I do have a square bill. That might be perfect. That way I can bounce off all these sticks, but still get a lot of water covered. I'm about to try that out. There's a fish. Oh, he feels really good. Come on. Come around. Come around. Oh, come around. Come around. Don't go to that stick. Don't go to that stick. Come here. Whew. Oh, man. Look at that one. Jesus. Holy cow, dude. Do y'all see this fish? Dude, that's a five, I think. Oh my God. He has a huge gash on his, on his face. That is not for me. That is either a five or a six pounder, y'all. Oh my God. Whew. Okay, we're gonna weigh this one. This dude is humongous.
four pounds 13 ounces this fish looks mighty chunkier than that <sighs> look at that gash on his face no idea what that's from four pounds 14 ounces <laughs> Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, let me just move. No. We gotta save this freaking crankbait. Maybe I can get it. We shall see. That might help, we'll see. All right, Converse, you're getting a little dirty. But we're getting this bait back. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I think I hear a beaver or something over there. Kinda wanna throw a jig. I think I'm like right on top of where these beavers go into their home, like right here and right all over here. Bro, if a beaver comes out and attacks me, I wouldn't even be upset at him. He's like, dude, get away from my house. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's a fighter. <laughs> I was bringing it up and I just saw that bait get smacked and go right back down. go there's another nice little bass all right thanks for biting bucko i think that's bass number nine sheesh in this little cove so we have a point there on our left uh i'd say this is a point here on my right in this little cove right here it's like a little bit of break from the really stiff wind out on the main water all that equates to bass apparently it's your bass equation. Point, point, cove, structure, cast right there. One thing about the head mount is that it's hard for me to check when the batteries are going dead. <laughs> as soon as I was reeling in, I got a hit and got this fella. So, I'm gonna pop you back in the head mount and get back to it. Hey, wrong way, bucko, there you go. Burn, baby, burn. Catch me a big old bass. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, it is a fish. Let's go. I was like, let me point the rod tip down and see if I can just scrape it on the bottom. Worked out. Yep, come here. You don't want to come in. There you go. There we go. Another pretty little bass, probably about two and a half, three. A little mouth on them. Back into the water she go. Ah, we snagged. Yes, sir. Fresh off the hangar. Let's see if there's any fish back here. Oh. Oh, there's one. Yes, sir. Fresh off the hangup. <laughs> oh, he fighting. He fighting a little bit. Stay down. Stay down, bucko. You ain't got to do all that flopping. Hey, 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 hey. You ain't got to do all that. Look nice. Look really nice. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm about to get off. I can't let you do that. Gotta see you at least. I wonder if that's the same one that was flopping around and got off the other day. It's another about two and a half, I'm saying. About two and a half, three. We ain't gonna hold you long, mister. We just wanna photograph you, autograph you, things of that nature. Man, you look pretty. All right. Ran out of the northern bank and the windblown side. 
the fish from one end all the way to the other. Now I'm gonna get out of here and get some food. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep catching them. Have a great day.